Nothing beats a relaxing soak in a big, deep bath. There's something about being immersed in water right up to the neck. You can almost feel the tension just falling away. But a soothing soak isn't the only type of bath that can calm and relax. I love the constant lapping of the waves as they roll onto the beach, and I could easily get lost in the repetition of the sound. It's my version of a sound bath. Sound healing, despite being relatively new to the Western world, is actually incredibly ancient. Most ancient civilizations have some form of sound as medicine, also in ritual, ceremony, all these sort of things. Everything from, of course, the Yudaki or didgeridoo in Aboriginal culture through to gongs in Southeast Asia, drums pretty much throughout the entire world. Sound has been used for a really long time to help people in a multitude of different ways. You can think of your entire body and everything contained within it as being almost like an orchestra of different frequencies and vibrations. Uh, everything in the universe is vibrating and our bodies are exactly the same. And I guess coming to a sound healing session or a sound bath is helping to sort of tune those different frequencies within you. Also helps balance out your energy centres as well. And I think the most obvious thing that people really feel um, on its most basic level is it helps to slow down your brain waves from those fast beta style brain waves into the more healing alpha theta brain waves. So that's where people get the really deep, restful relaxation response happening. Would it be best to describe a sound healing as one on one, whereas a sound bath would be perhaps a group environment? Yeah, exactly, correct. In a one on one session, we can obviously be really specific to that person's needs versus a sound bath. It's more of an overall to help everybody. But incorporating intention into a group sound bath, you can take from it what you need. When you play these instruments, they create a frequency of vibrations. Yeah. Is that what tunes into our body physically? Yeah, exactly. And I guess when it comes to the brain waves, it works on the um, theory of resonance, sympathetic resonance, where essentially the frequency of the bowl will help to slow down your brain waves to that particular frequency. I see a lot of people coming in who are suffering from anxiety, also depression, sleeplessness, trouble sleeping, but also people that are just feeling a bit flat. Um, it's really wonderful for helping with that. Uh, I also have a few people who come suffering from chronic fatigue and it really helps their uh, symptoms go away for, you know, the days following a sound bath. Is it the type of therapy that you expect to feel results immediately or is it something that builds up over time? Both, both. A lot of people walk out just, you look at their faces and before and after, I should actually take before and after shots because their face has just completely changed after a session. And then what can come up in the days following that can be something completely different. The best way to sum up how I'm feeling right now is, is charged and charged in two different ways. One, my body does feel really alive, but also I feel like that tapped into emotions and, and feelings that I had suppressed. It was that perfect combination of the physical relaxing, the spiritual really connecting, the emotional unlocking, and that combination of going, hey, I can actually feel the benefits of it now in the moment, but knowing if I do more and more, what it could unlock and the potential of how I feel afterwards, I absolutely loved it.